everyone, my name is Christy. Welcome to my corner. Thank you for joining me today for a slightly different video than normal where I'm going to talk about the freehand embroidery designers that I really like. I've gotten some questions in my comments on YouTube and also on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you can find me at Dr. Underscore Christy. And that's where I post pictures of kind of my everyday life and my stitching during the week and that kind of thing. So check me out there. But I've gotten some questions about uh, from people who want to maybe get into freehand embroidery and come from a cross stitch background or come from a knitting background and just kind of want to try out the more freestyle kind of embroidery and I'm thrilled I'm happy to do that and so I thought I would just make a video of some designers that I really like and I have stitched some of these designers patterns and some I have not done but I follow them on Instagram and I really like them. Essentially what I'm going to do is show you like their websites and um, I'll link them all down below so you can have access to them. But this way you can see if it's a style that you like, if it's a price point that you like, and whether you want like a kit or a uh, PDF download or whatever. There are all sorts of different options for you in the websites I'm going to show you from free to $20 for a pattern or $50 for a kit. I do want to start though by saying that you don't actually need a pattern or a kit to do embroidery, uh, freehand embroidery. You can use any kind of fabric, you can use any hoop that you can buy at a local craft store, and you can just use DMC that you can find in um, normal craft stores, at least especially in the US. All those things are pretty inexpensive. And you can stitch any image. If you think of it kind of like coloring, it's different from cross stitch where it's uh, like pixelated and so you have to have a plan. In embroidery, you don't really, in freehand embroidery, you don't really have to have a plan, although plans are nice because they mean you mess up less. Because <laughs> I've had a lot of mess ups in my time when I haven't had a plan. But if you have a picture or if you can draw or if you have a coloring book, these are all things that make really good patterns. So I don't want to discourage you in any way from buying one of these patterns because the nice thing about the patterns is that number one, you have a good clear image. And number two, the colors and stitches have been chosen for you that fit best for that image. If you do your own freehand embroidery based on an image that you choose or like a coloring book, you have to come up with the colors and come up with the correct stitches. So really it's about what you want to get out of this hobby. I'm going to just kind of show you some places where you can get these patterns if you're interested in, in working from patterns. Most of them are small businesses, but I want to start with the, the big one, which is DMC. DMC, who makes the floss, has hundreds of free patterns and they have free embroidery patterns as well as free cross stitch and crochet patterns. So here is just like the first group of embroidery patterns and you can see they have florals which are actually very cute, they have fruits, they have landscapes and bugs and leaves and white on white and sayings, right? So DMC has a great is a great resource if you just want to play around with stitches and colors and don't want to maybe invest so much money into your kind of first, you know, your early stitching. And most of these are beginner friendly patterns. And these patterns come with the DMC colors and also with the, the stitches. So DMC is a great place to start and like I said, lots of different kinds of patterns. You can also get some kits from DMC, but um, you have to pay for those. But these are all free patterns and they say $3, but it's crossed off. And essentially you have to sign up for their newsletter every time you want to download the pattern, but you can download an unlimited number of those patterns. And these are all done by designers using DMC, but they're really cool patterns. And there are some excellent ones in this bunch. And the nice thing about these patterns is that they're really easy to modify if you want to make them more your own, which is what I've done in the past. But, you know, things like tarot cards, right, which you wouldn't think you'd get from a DMC or landscapes or cottages. Anyway, so DMC is a really good place to start. 
The next company I want to talk about is uh, Penguin and Fish, and I have stitched these patterns as well. This is a woman-owned business. Um, Alyssa Thomas owns this business, and she has a live stitch along that I don't watch as regularly as I used to, but I used to watch this every day, uh, and, and she essentially is on YouTube and Facebook Live every weekday at 8.30 Central Time, and she uh, does a lot of quilting actually on this channel, but she does stitching and does her embroidery of the month. So her embroidery of the month this month is this cute little happy feeling good hoop. She has other hoops as well. And these are incredibly beginner friendly. Incredibly beginner friendly. As you see here, you can buy an entire kit or you can buy a PDF pattern. And you can do the same for all of them. So if you scroll down, but these are very beginner friendly. They are very cute. They mostly focus on three beginner stitches and they're especially good for like kids rooms. This pattern here, this uh, fabric scissors pattern I have in my uh, background when I film my videos, if you've ever noticed that, I got that from here. You also can buy all of your supplies from here if you want. And that's a really nice one stop shop. Penguin and Fish does sell their patterns at Target and Joanne Fabrics. So if you've ever been in Joanne Fabrics and see one of these, it is sold by Penguin and Fish. And, but they are still a very small business and I don't know, they're just great. I highly recommend, especially if you're a beginner, using Penguin and Fish patterns. The other pattern that I have done is the Drop Cloth Sampler by Rebecca Ringquist, I think her name is. And she basically has really interesting samplers that have unusual stitches. So here are her samplers and there are different kinds of samplers. And I did this one. This is the original sampler that basically has something like 20 or 30 different kinds of stitches. The thing to remember about this one is that while at the end you have a very nice group of interesting stitches. She doesn't actually give you directions on how to do most of these stitches. This is where I discovered YouTube has tutorials for almost every stitch you can think of. This sampler, like stitching this sampler, is what really got me into looking for other ways to stitch without patterns since I had to teach myself how to stitch this anyway. So that's something to keep in mind. This is a great resource to have if you want to practice lots of different stitches because, you know, something like a coral knot or a Algerian eye, you know, these kind of stitches aren't the first ones you learn, but once you have, once you learn them and have them on this drop cloth sampler, then you have that and you can, you know, continue stitching them. Those are the three that I have used in the past, but there are other ones that I really like that have kind of different feeling feels to them that I want to show you as well. Another big one is Jessica Long Embroidery and I love her patterns. Some of them are quite advanced but I think she has some beginners as well and so you can check these out. You can learn florals, you can learn leaves and feathers. So these are really good for depending on your level because these are the beginner ones. Then she has these thread painting patterns that are much more advanced and you end up with a uh, more realistic looking picture. And she sells these also as kits. She also has a YouTube channel and she stitches a lot of these things on her YouTube channel. So that is really good support. Jessica Long Embroidery, I really like her stuff. Um, again, small business and has really interesting and different patterns. And while I've never gotten patterns from Jessica Long Embroidery, I have bought supplies from her. And so I get some really good, my really good stitching hoops from her. And at some point I wanna get some Cosmo thread from her, but you can buy everything you need at Jessica Long Embroidery as well. Next I wanna talk about Bryn and Co. And they have a very definite look, but they have some cool embroidery patterns. So let's take a look at those. And they also have kits and also have supplies. But these are definitely like modern, soft embroidery patterns 
that are, I mean, there's a certain aesthetic. I don't know. I mean, they, they all look like they definitely come from the same designer to me. But some of them are really interesting and some of them are more traditional and I really like that. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned them. And like I said, you can get kits from them and also you can get supplies from them. That's Bryn and Co. One of the largest small businesses is Embroidery Art by Nat and she has uh, embroidery patterns and embroidery kits and she has classes and she has a YouTube channel and she has like a monthly club. So there are all different options for this one. But if you just want to shop her patterns, you can go to her Etsy shop and click on beginner patterns and you can see all of her different patterns, which I have to be honest with you, some of these are not, don't look beginner, but you know, I'm sure she has very good directions. So she has really beautiful patterns, embroidery art by Nat, and she also, like I said, you can try a free pattern and she has classes. This is Hook, Line, and Tinker, and I have to be honest, she's probably one of my favorite beginner-friendly pattern designers as well, um, her and Penguin and Fish. I just love the graphic nature of her pieces. And one of the cool things about her pieces is that they're very limited color palette. And I know that she, she talks about this a lot when she did, talks about her, her work and her designing is that she particularly focuses on a limited palette to kind of challenge herself to make a better design. And her design, I don't know, is fantastic. So if we look at like the nautical ones, I mean, these are just like classic nautical and I love them. I love them. But you notice they're all, they all kind of go together. It's a whole series. So if you did a whole series of these and put them on a wall, they would all go together. I think that they're great. I also like this one because um, I'm my grandmother is um, Norwegian. And so these are kind of Scandinavian looking things. So that's Hook, Line, Tinker. I really like her um, aesthetic quite a lot, actually. I don't know this designer as well, but um, this is Little Green Stitch on Etsy. And she really focuses on like botanicals. I like that they're florals, but they're more kind of botanical florals. I don't know if that makes sense, but I think that these are just really pretty and simple and can be used in multiple different ways. And I really like that. So this is Little Green Stitch on Etsy. Here we have Witch Stitch Studio on Etsy also. And these are people that I follow on Instagram and so I see their work all the time and really like it. She has a lot of different options and some of them are whimsical and some of them are more traditional, but I just think, again, I really like her aesthetic. I mean, here's a dinosaur, right? I mean, it's like, come on, dinosaurs? You know you wanna embroider a dinosaur, I love it. But they also have like this white one with the butterfly is just so beautiful and intricate and just kind of lovely. So here is uh, another option if you're interested in, if you like, if you like this aesthetic. And the last person I want to talk about is um, Femi X Stitch. I think that's how you pronounce it. She has amazing patterns that are like cityscapes and rooms and some very beginner, beginner, beginner patterns, like this lighthouse is 10 stitches, but is very kind of graphic. She also has more complicated ones, but I just think that her, I don't know, again, I really like her aesthetic. I like her little rooms. I like her mountains and her cityscapes. I just think they're really great. And I definitely, when I see her pieces on Instagram, I'm always drawn to them. But she also has more traditional floral patterns as well, which is also nice. And I like how she incorporates people with flowers and other, you know, parts. I, I really like the idea of stitching people. That's just kind of my thing. So again, if this is your aesthetic, then um, she'll be linked down below as well. Those are all the designers I want to talk about today, just so that this doesn't go on for too long. But I do want to say that there are tons of other designers out there who are making really interesting embroidery patterns and kits that if none of these work with what you want to do, 
just kind of search on Etsy for for kind of other designers or uh, designs of what you want to stitch. I try to kind of present a wide variety of styles so that you know, he'd be if you're interested in any of them, you can just kind of click on the link. There are tons of designers out there who I think do really interesting pieces. But I think that's all I'm going to say today. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I hope that this was helpful for those of you who are interested in getting into freehand embroidery. And I will see you in my floss tube on Friday. So with all that being said, please take good care of yourselves and have a good one. Bye.